All right, man, follow with me. <clears throat> so plugging it in to the OBD2 port. <clears throat> it'll come on, it'll load. Should look like this. Your screen won't probably be set up how this one is, so we'll set up a new screen. But you just touch the center of it <clears throat> and you have a timer here you have to touch something before this bar runs out you could adjust that setting if you want but it's not needed <coughs> so we'll touch the screen we'll go to next or whichever let's see i don't like um i don't use this one this is the one i prefer to use so let's see this is we want to set this for rail pressure this is how I PID config. You'll touch it and hit change. You'll go through the options. So I want to see pressure. I want to see rail pressure actual. Continue. Boost. Which if you want to see boost, you can leave that there. I want to see EGT. So change, we're gonna go down to temperature. MM3 sensing sensor temp, continue. And then um, I wanna see FCA amperage. That's for my little hot rod truck. So let's go down to amps, amps, FCA amperage, change, go back, continue, <clears throat> an engine coolant temperature. Yeah, so I got MM3, which is the quantity, the amount of fuel being sprayed, and then coolant temperature. And that's all I need, but you can see transmission temperature you can see uh, which gear you're in you can see all kind of shit this is an older truck it can't see the stuff that the newer ones can but you can set it up on this screen return to dashboard this screen you can see five this one you can see six different parameters five parameters whether it be two sweep gauges and three digital one sweep gauge and five digital gauges <clears throat> so making a log like i need to make a log now since i just loaded this hot rod file let's see truck's running let's see what we we see our rail pressure our amperage quantity engine coolant temperature as you're driving down the road or whatever the issue is you want to see a log you want to make a log for the tuner which would be steve or whoever you're going to send it to you go here high speed log it'll start logging let it log for however long you think uh, the issue is or you want someone to see what the problem is. It could be five seconds, a minute, a minute and a half, somewhere around there. You stop it, it'll save. <clears throat> Exit. And then once you get to the house, wherever you're going, we'll take the card out. Put it in your provided adapter. Then we'll take it to the computer. Once you plug it in, <clears throat> you know, it'll ask you to scan, to, uh, to scan and correct the file or just continue as is. Whether you're using a Windows or a Mac. I'm I use Windows, so I don't know about Mac or Apple. Once you open that up, you open the file, it'll say 
config data uh, H S D L I believe log and then you open up the email and then you just open up the log folder and then attach the log to the email and send it out. And that's pretty much it, man.